All right, our next syllabary exercise, um, we will be covering the letters ka, ge, gi, go, gu, ga, and ha. So let's take a look at how to write each one. Okay, first let's take a look at ka. To write ka, you start in the middle, and we curve outwards, and we go up. Again, we'll curve outwards, and we end by going up. One more time. We're going to curve around until we're right back up at the top. Now remember, we're supposed to be keeping all the syllabary shapes at about the same height, and you're going to see some variation uh, in the way different people write it. So, Let's go on to the next one. The next letter you'll be practicing is the letter gay. This is the easier way to write it. So you put a straight line coming down, then we pull up like this, and we want to add like a half circle to the end, like that. And that will be the letter gay. Again, Draw a straight line down, make a slanted line going up, and you want to do a half circle. Again, straight line down, a line coming up, followed by that half circle. And that is the letter gate. The next letter on your list is the letter Gi. To draw the letter Gi, pull a straight line at an angle like this. Then you want to curve out. Now, you notice I'm kind of keeping it flat. It's important to keep it flat. Um, there's another letter which is very, looks very similar to the letter Gi. And if you curve the tail, if you don't make the tail flat, it'll start looking like that other letter. You don't want it to do that. And here we can just add the final component, and that's the letter G. Again, I'm pulling straight down at an angle, then I pull out. So I'm down and I'm out with a flat tail, then I add the cross number. So that's G. Again, down, out, pull in. Again, down, out. It doesn't have to be a long tail, it's need to keep it flat. Then we go in like that. So that's gi. Let's take a look at how to draw the letter go. So to draw the letter go, we just put a line down at this at an angle, give it a matching line pointed in the opposite direction, then we just draw a crossbar. Now I'm not pulling the crossbar through the sides, I stop at the sides. Okay, that's important that you do that. So that's the letter go. So again, we'll come down on one side, then we come down on the other side, then you put the crossbar, so that's the letter go. Again, down on one side, down on the other side, put the crossbar, that's the letter go. Now let's look at the letter GU. So the letter GU, we're coming straight down, we're curving to the left and we come up and we leave it open. That's very important that you leave this open right here. So you pull down, you come to this side and you pull up just a little bit to make a hook. So it looks like a lot, lot like a hook and you leave this open. You don't, act, you don't curve back, you just go straight up and stop. Do not curve back. If you curve back you'll make it look like a different letter. So again, pull down, pull this way, and stop. Again, the letter GU, down, over, up. One more time, down, over, and up. 
All right. That's the letter GU. Now it's time for the letter GA. Now, whenever you say the letter GA, because it has a uh sound in it, you always make it go through the nose. So it's GA through the nose. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do a straight line coming down. And then you can put a bottom on it. And you put a top on it. And you give it a middle. Now, I, normally I try to keep all three parts about the same length because it looks best that way, as um, far as being the letter G goes. So again, let's pull straight down. And we do the bottom bar. And we do the top bar. And we do the middle bar. Again, we pull straight down. Do the bottom bar. We do the top bar, and we pull straight across. That's the letter G. Next on the list is a fun one. This is the letter HA. To write out the letter HA, um, first you want to do a small circle, complete, complete small circle. And you can do a line straight down. This is one way of doing it. And then from the small circle, we come through the line, we pull straight down, and we go back. So that's the letter HA. Huh. So again, I can do a circle. I can do a line coming down. And then I go from the circle through the line coming down, about the same distance on both sides. Then I close it up for the letter HA. Huh. Now, some people might prefer writing it like this, where they start with the circle, they don't lift the pin up, they go across, they pull back, and they go up. Okay? If you want to write it this way again, that's a circle, across, down, up. And there's different ways you can write it. So, But the recommended in the material, at least for now, until you get used to the shape, is a circle, a line, come across the circle, and close it up. Okay? That's the letter HA. Huh. So now you should be ready um, to do your dictation exercise. You should be at least a little familiar with the shape now. Uh, don't forget that on your video display it will show this chart. Okay? Now this lesson will also cover the previous seven syllabary as part of the exercise for review. So you're going to have the new seven here, and then you're going to have the previous seven here. Okay. Now you're going. It's going to show on the video the new seven on the left for easy reference, and it's going to show the previous seven on the right hand side. So what you're looking at is on the video. It will look like this. Okay. Your video will display this, so you can see it. Um, while you're doing the exercise, okay? And uh, like I said before, don't be afraid to look up at the chart to see how to draw a letter. Uh, let's keep in mind that they are displayed in order, so um, they don't have any English words written next to them because they're already in order. Um, for example, the first set, we know it starts with A, okay? Because that's the order they're in. A, A, E, O, U, A, G. We know the order. Therefore, we should be able to look up the shape without having to have any English lettering written here. And as you get used to them, um, this is the same way. So it's ka, ge, gi, go, gu, ga, ha. They're in order. Now, this is, like I said, this is going to be on the left hand side because it's a new set, and then the old set is going to be on the right hand side during your practice exercise. So, let's get started.